Large stars will become supernova at the end of their life cycle. As hydrogen in the core becomes depleted, the star expands to become a red giant. At the end of that stage, it is likely to collapse under gravitational forces. If the star is large, then that gravitational potential energy will in turn lead to an explosion, a supernova. Supernova occur in a wide variety of shapes and sizes. The size of the bang rather depends upon the size of the original star. The bigger the original star, the bigger the bang in an explosion that can be brighter than all of the rest of the stars in the galaxy put together. However, type 1a supernova occur at the end of a slightly different process, which goes something like this. If a pair of main sequence stars orbit one another in a binary twin, it is likely that one is larger than the other. The larger star will reach the red giant stage first and will engulf its twin. This process will cause the stars to spiral in towards one another, orbiting at a much closer distance. The older star will eventually collapse to become a white dwarf and the envelope of dust and gas will be blown away. Eventually the smaller of the two stars will reach the end of its life and expand into a red giant. Gas will spill onto the white dwarf attracted by the strong gravitational field. The mass of the white dwarf will increase to a critical value of about 1.4 solar masses, at which point it explodes. Observations of this mechanism were confirmed in a report by NASA in 2006, publishing a series of photographs as seen above. Since all Type 1a supernova are of the same intensity, a comparison of their apparent brightness as seen from Earth will give us an estimate of how far away they are. These summary notes and many others can be found on the website at www.physics.org. On the playlist there's several other video lessons explaining different techniques of measuring distance in astronomy. Thank you for watching.